Chris Reyes for City News International. A case of soccer segregation, the unusual step by the Canadian Soccer League to keep peace at a championship game. It's segregation you wouldn't expect in a city known for being so multicultural. Chris Reyes with why the Canadian Soccer League is keeping Serbian and Croatian fans apart during a championship game in Toronto. These YouTube videos captured the passion between Toronto, Croatia versus Serbian White Eagles. Passion that concerns the Canadian Soccer League. There were flares and there was, you know, I think taunts from the two different sides. That's why when the teams meet for the championship, instead of playing the usual one game, the league decided on a two-game total goal series. Saturday, the uh, league decided uh, to go with uh, only Croatian uh, fans yeah. and Sunday is going to be only Serbians. Isn't this segregation and all the negative connotations that come with it? No, I don't, no, I don't think it's segregation. I think it's, 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 it's safety. Serbia and Croatia are rivals not just on the field. The two have a long history of conflict. It's been less than 20 years since the two countries were at war. Croats and Serbs fought against each other as Yugoslavia broke up in the early 90s. It was not the first time the two sides faced off. It's hard to talk about that. We always have problems between Serbia and Croatia. Uh, that's from back home and still here in Canada. The coaches on the field say the rivalry may be fierce between the two teams, but it's not violent. Honestly, I don't, I don't like it. People and media and all this together uh, making big story, but I don't see a reason for it. For more information on the final games, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. Chris Reyes for City News International.